So I'm, I'm blabbering on. Let's get to cracking this dude open. Where is my lucky blade? Lucky blade. Lucky blade. <laughs> Hey there YouTube, this guy's Toys and I'm back with another awesome video review. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, <laughs> um, in my previous episode I did um, a review of some toy stuff I got to Toys R Us and they were all pretty much 8-bit related, especially all well, the big figures were. But now I got even more 8-bit stuff to throw in your face, in your face. And dude, I found these awesome series 5? One of five? It's just one of five. Dude, these are so freaking cool. This is 8-bit Donkey Kong. And I got two of them. So guess what, you guys? One, two, please. I can open one of them. Heck yeah, man. I'm so excited. I also found two Marios. Uh, and sadly, I only found one Link and one Luigi. But man, this is these are so amazingly well done. Um, it doesn't beat the super cool 3D Amiibo 8-bit though. Look at this bad boy. Look at look at it. Look at his this blocky cornery glory. I love these. These are so cool, man. I hope they do more 8-bit uh, figures before the 30th anniversary uh, extravaganza ends. So um, let me just show you the back of the box. This says 8-bit Donkey Kong. 8-bit Donkey Kong, based on the NES version of the original Donkey Kong game, released in 1986, Donkey Kong has kidnapped Paul Pauline and taken her to the top of his construction site in the original Donkey Kong game, released for the NES. He throws bo barrel bombs, flaming fireballs, and while Mario tries to save Pauline before time runs out. So, how sweet is that? So, I'm kind of like kicking myself in the rear end because they did have all these except for Skull Kid. So they had all these right here, and I didn't pick these guys up. I kind of have a bunch of Shy Guys anyway from um, the Connects version, so I was like, eh, he's kind of common for me. Dick, did it, DixieCon didn't seem really like all that, like worth getting. I did see the yellow Pikmin, but like my hands are really full with all the ones I got, so I'm like, eh, I'll see him later, because I see a lot of the red ones at Target from the other version of this. But, okay, so I'm, I'm blabbering on. Let's get to cracking this dude open. Where is my lucky blade? Lucky blade. Lucky blade. Okay, so here is some tape along this edge. Usually when I do amiibos, I cut it from the front to keep the cards intact. There you go. Like, I mean, my son, we saved the cards, especially on the Amiibo packs, but I think it's kind of still worth doing it on this. And Booyakasha, man, look at this. This would be an awesome Amiibo to make. It's going to be really large. I don't think I'm going to shrink it down to be the size of that, but... Okay. He's flat on the back. It's from Jack Specific in Santa Monica. What? Well, they stepped up the game on these. These are so cool, man. Look at that. Now they do, oh dude, they need to make the barrels now. That would be so awesome. There you go. Um, looks like he has like a skull right here, see? His eyes, and the mouth, and the skull. See? That looks like a monkey here. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. These look great on the shelf, just sitting like, Frank, put your butt up. There you go, see? That's tomorrow. I'm about to use Link as a stand. Um, the only other one I could open now is Mario because I don't have spares of the other two. And just to let you guys know, this is a, another amazing 30th anniversary of Super Mario Bros. Yeah, boy. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if I should even open this. I have this one right here. And I have the amiibo that goes with this one. Alright, so I got my Mario out. This one's really dug in here. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Sick. 3D. It's flat though. And you can see how he pops out here on the side. So it's different layers. Just like the Donkey Kong, see? 
Dude, these are so sick. I love these. I need to find another Link and another Luigi so I can open these two up. Yo, people, if you guys have one, let me know. I think I paid only like four bucks for these. Um, and if you guys have a, um, an extra Skull Kid, please let me know. I have another cool video I have to show you some more um, Nintendo stuff that I got. Uh, maybe we could do a trade seeds. I'd be so honored to trade with my fellow YouTubers. So, okay, let me see. I got these, I got those, I got this. Okay, so, <laughs> I set everything up as I have it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to leave me a comment section uh, in the comment section down below of what was your favorite 8-bit uh, character, or what is your all-time 8-bit character if you're old school like me. Um, I'm only two years older than Mario, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, man, let me know what you guys liked. If you guys have an extra Zelda or, or Luigi, please let me know. Uh, and let me know what you guys want me to review next. Uh, Christmas is coming up. What are you guys doing? Do you guys celebrate Christmas? Uh, happy holidays to everybody nonetheless and a happy new year. Um, that's it for this guy's videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.